Hello, Scorpio. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Northern Canada. This is your weekly reading. Big announcements this week is my website. Guys, um, it's just one page, but I'm thrilled with it. And I'm able to offer you all extended readings, uh, monthly readings for $4.99. I know most readers will charge $10 for an extended link, but I'm giving you all the extended readings for all of the Zodiacs and all of the Afternoon Delights. Um, and I'm thrilled to be able to give that to you. I think that is much more fair and much more uh, personal contact with all of you. The website is thejourneyhome.ca. Please come and visit. Uh, the subscription button is there for you to look at and to look at. <laughs> okay, let's get on with your reading. The first card out of the gate was the Page of Fire. So there's some small passionate offer coming in. It could be about a job, a project, a person. The Seven of Fire sees you as standing your ground, um, possibly not taking the advice or opinions of others and making up your own mind. Because you're a blooming unicorn here. You look pretty good. Four of Earth is about hanging on to something, person, place, things. Um, usually when we hang on to things, it's out of insecurity. But sometimes it's out of, of protection. Being in protective mode. Perhaps just protecting yourself. Holding on to you. What's the matter, Chloe? You're so rude. Ace, Ace of Earth. This is a brand new beginning. It could be a project. It could be a new job. It could be a promotion. An offer of stability. Okay, guys, I gotta, I gotta just hold the boat right there because, gee, all of my readings start out so rickety. So please, please have the patience to hear me out. Um, my website is thejourneyhome.ca. Please come and visit and subscribe so that you have access to all of the uh, extended links for both the Zodiac and the Afternoon Delight readings. You won't find an offer like that anywhere on the internet. And it is my deepest gratitude and thanks to all of you who have supported me and new friends to come. You're locked in this price for, you know, for as long as I am doing this. Uh, people have told me I should, I'm, I'm not charging enough because extended readings cost $10 per, per reading. Uh, but I'm happy to do this and uh, see the big picture in all of it. You can um, you can uns unsubscribe any time, of course, but it is a way of uh, reaching out. And if I ever do raise the price in the future, you're locked in for life forever at this price. And but I really do doubt that I would raise the price. I, I feel quite comfortable with four ninety nine for the month. So thejourneyhome.ca, please come and visit me. I still, of course, give personal readings, $25. You can ask as many questions as you like. I'll answer as many as I can in a 15 to 20 minute time span. And these extended readings, by the way, usually last a good half hour. I am amazed just doing these. Some of these on YouTube have been just profound but when I get into the extended readings they're they're really blowing me away guys and that's just not I'm not trying to toot my own horn or sound vain but I'm really pleased to be able to give you that quality that this collective in general uh, energy that uh, 
I think that most of you can take something from it to enrich your lives. Okay, thanks for being patient. Let's start over again. We've got, well, not start over, but the page of fire we spoke of um, this new beginning in passion, standing your ground like a unicorn. And look at this page of fire, by the way. I mean, she's quite sweet. They were looking at full moon energy, full moon manifestation. We're still probably, yeah, we're still feeling the effects of the new moon, which was yesterday or the day before. We're still feeling those effects. If you have been meditating, putting up intention, law of attraction, affirmations, doing your homework. I mean, that is doing your homework. Then you can expect that by the full moon, it's going to be your heart's desire to begin the passion that you want to begin. But this could also mean some news coming in, a messenger, a happy news. Four of Earth hanging on to something. And the Ace of Third Earth is the beginning. A new job, new business. And if you've already done this, to let you know, Scorpio, it's going to be highly successful. You will gain a monetary gain from this, this project, monetary gain from this business or new job. It will be highly successful. And not only that, Scorpio, take a look at the top of this card. You have divine help. Uh, this is coming this gift is is coming from the heavens no boat i doubt it two of water is about commitment a vow could be in business again but usually it's about love could be both knowing a scorpio the way i know scorpio it's probably both They, to me, Scorpio is probably the most lucrative sign when it comes to success. They just know how to get the job done. They just know how to finesse. They just know how to create. It is a most amazing sign. The strength card came up. So Scorpio, it is my pleasure to, to share with you what I learned about this card recently. And I've read a lot of books and the Kabbalist meanings, and this all falls into line for me. But you can see the infinity sign up in the corner. What I learned from a dear, dear friend, she's an Aquarius, and she's a shaman, an incredible shaman. She's like a, a miracle magnet. What she taught me about this was, I think we're all guilty of it. We pray for strength. We're always praying for strength. Oh my God, I'm just going through hell. Please give me strength to get through this. We need to stop doing that. See that infinity sign? Because when we're praying for strength, the universe is going to send us uh, trials, tribulations, blockages to give us strength because these things that break us make us stronger, correct? So this can be a never ending cycle the infinity sign, number eight, can be a never-ending cycle of asking for strength and constantly going through. Ugh. What we should be manifesting, what can be manifested, what we should be praying for, is wisdom. Wisdom to na navigate us to our destiny. And we'll get there in lightning speed. So this card is telling me to tell you, Scorpio, that you've already got the strength. You've tamed the beast within. That beast is, you know, he's not roaring, but he's got that growl on, like, protecting you. That inner part of you that's protective. Saying, you cross my boundaries, I will eat you. This is almost like a clarification card. To me, for the strength card and the two of water and the eight, all of it, just all of it. In other decks, the two of fire would mean 
having a decision and either decision, no matter which decision you make, it's a good decision. The universe will take care of you. And you're looking to distant shores and holding the world in your hands, yada, yada, yada. In this deck, and I love this card, the universe, you made the decision. You know which direction you're going. So uh, look at, you're tired. So God sent the angels to put you on this back of the giraffe, your totem this week or next, for the next two weeks. That light that's in the lantern came from the right side of the brain. Emperor and Empress rule the right side of the brain. This is where the light comes down from the heavens through the higher self, higher self being Christ consciousness. Christ consciousness being Christ, we are part of Christ. And Christ said, there is no way to the Father but through me. He was the light's blood. And we could, we could translate that another way and say, uh, the mother and father, the duality. But I, I think of he or the father as the singularity, and it does include the divine feminine. So anyway, let's get back to what's going on here. They took the, the, this, took the light from the hermit because the hermit takes the light from the right side of the brain to guide the way in the left side of the brain. So they've got this lantern guiding you. So sorry about my dog. She's so rude. She's old. She's always doing rude noises in my videos. Oh, you can't see her. Okay, so you're tired. You've been lifted on the back of this giraffe as your guide, your spirit guide. This is a spirit guide you're looking at, guys. The light of the hermit in the lantern to light the way. You're going to be okay. Partly because I just told you a secret. That's one of those hidden knowledge jewels that we are all just starting to learn. How to be powerful magicians and manifestors. And if you want power... It has to be for the highest good. So we learn how to prepare for that and we learn how to manifest and we learn how to send out intentions that will harm in no one. And this is terraforming our earth, our new earth. King of water and the queen of earth are side by each. That's a Nova Scotia saying, side by each. So the energy, and this can go vice versa, depending on who you are. Um, King of waters, energies, this could be a water sign and this could be an earth sign, but it, it could be just two people taking on these energies. Now, the king of water is a benevolent king. He's got a handle on his emotions, but he's showing them. He's showing them to you with a great deal of love. He's got his hand under you wants to guide you. This could be you, Scorpio. Like I said, it's it's interchangeable. The queen of earth is nurturing. She plants the seeds, waters them, uh, harvests, and she's a, a, a good parent, stable, generous, intelligent, and she's decked out. I mean, she just sparkles. So this king is looking at that queen like she sparkles. What is on your mind, Chloe? We could use some good music anyway. Thank you for waiting, Scorpio. The last card here is the Emperor. The emperor could signify or symbolize a very stubborn person in your life. But he protects what he loves to a fault. Or you can't fault him for that. He protects what he loves 
his empire, his family, his tribe, his gaggle. He's armored and ready to protect them. But he is also, well, he's an emperor. He's built an empire. He knows how to build an empire. He wants you to be a part of his empire. Or you want someone to be a part of your emperor or empire. Blip, blip. Because we have two people here, a king and a, and a queen. Not a queen and a knight. Or not a king and a knight or a page. These are equal. Equal. With gifts of their own. Because the king of water, um, water sign, Scorpio, is also psychic. Whatever psychic ability this person has is through their horn there. That's their antenna. They need help. You know, the earth has to stay grounded. But they are blessed too. Water heals earth. Does it not? Perhaps, Scorpio, you're thinking of someone uh, in, in a sense of, well, can I help them? Can I save them from a dilemma? This is like someone new. Or it's your partner. I'm going to take this over to the extended. I hope you join me there. Go to thejourneyhome.ca. Join me there and come and get the extended reading. The extended readings have been turning out to be in incredibly profound and I hope to give that to you in this one, too. Uh, and you get all the extended readings of all the Zodiacs. I'll be pulling from four more decks to find out more about this. So if we part ways here, Scorpio, God bless you. I'll see you next week or during one of the afternoon delight readings. And if I see you over there, well, let's celebrate. And let's, let's do a fabulous reading. God bless you all. Thank you for joining me, and we'll talk really soon. Bye for now. Oh, thejourneyhome.ca. Just had to plug that one more time.